Hello, and welcome to the second episode oh, of the Comic Show podcast. podcast with my with me, your host, Comic, and the person attempting to talk over me, Dylan. Stupid guy. Hello. I swear this is not an ad for my streams, but uh, you guys may have heard uh, Dylan's voice over on my streams of Pokemon Violet over on my channel. Uh, something that I have not done in a couple da days because I was beating Pokemon Scarlet. <coughs> I thought you were going to say something else. I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> so I did not get to... Um, research the I did not get around to researching the um cybersecurity uh articles that I was going to report on today because this week has not been going as planned. So that will be possibly a next week thing. But for this week I do have a couple of stories that have been brought to my attention. Uh in my scrolling of YouTube I have seen many L's uh, from people the media used to describe as the geniuses of the world. And oh, how far they have fallen. I'm not going to go all throughout this because I do not feel like rediscussing for over 30 minutes uh the downfall of the zuckerberg and the downfall of the crypto bro that got way too lucky was featured on the darman and did other things but took the biggest l of them all uh but i will be discussing Elon and Twitter right now. So as you may or may not have n known, uh, Twitter has been in a very downward spiral, even for Twitter standards, since Elon took over. Hey, man. <laughs> um, Elon is officially in the position of uh, there's actually talk around this that he may be getting kicked out as CEO, which is a thing that can happen, but usually it doesn't happen because CEOs usually aren't some child who literally brought a sink into work the first day. Now, granted, that Just was kind that of funny. It was kind of funny, but it was very unprofessional, and little did we know, it was exactly how he was uh, planning to run his business. As you may know, he's running it like the clown. McDonald's actually has pretty good business standards. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you keep you backing about. out of this tree, by the way? I'm not. I have literally clicked trade it every, like, six times in a row. Your internet is so bad. So bad. Yep, there's, I just got a communication error from you. A communication errored me. And the group was disbanded. Okay, so you, you... Your internet crashed. Essentially. For uh, Pokemon Not my standards. internet, no. I think I just sat in the communication error for too long. Because ah. I'm still online. <laughs> I see. Hold on. Hold on. What, if, what if I formed the group? Yeah, let's, let's try that and see if 
doing it in reverse for some reason works. <laughs> oh, it is going to... Oh, yes, it actually fucking did it this time. Okay. Alright. Um. Anyway, back to our lovely little topic here. Um. But, uh. Crap, I completely forgot where I was going with that. I had a whole thing planned out in my mind that I was gonna do for that, and then I just. It left. I don't know. We left off and let that sink in, and McDonald's has better business practices. Yes. Um. Uh, crap, it, it, it's really just not allowing me to think of more than three things at once. Well, while we have these technical difficulties with Ryan's mind, might I introduce you to Bofoot? Best brand known man, that's right, we got a fucking sponsorship. <laughs> You'll know we didn't. You just been pranked. Got him. Yes. I want to well, set up these numbers. In the since my brain can't immediately think where it, it was gonna go, I'm just gonna ramble about Twitter for a, a good few more minutes. Um seemingly everybody is jumping ship, including brands, which were the first to go. Though I still see brands advertising on there. It will not be for very long. Dude, like there long is lack of advertisement. There is um way too much talk of people jumping ship and going to the longest living uh platform that hasn't taken an L more than three times in a year unlike other MySpace. platforms. No. Tumblr. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> Tumblr still has an active fan base. Fuck you. Tumblr has uh, uh, a person on there who will not be named simply because podcast. I guess. I think I know who you were talking about. But, uh... I'm just happy that I'm getting the once-in-a-lifetime chance to watch a sinking ship while being on board, yet still being perfectly fine. And it is magnificent. Especially since, um... Due to Elon's total blunder of paying eight dollars for a check mark, Tumblr, of all sites, made fun of him by allowing you to buy their own version of a check mark, which d provides nothing for verification. It is literally what they called their important blue check mark. Uh. And instead of buying one, you got two. People immediately figured out you could keep doing this. And it stuck all the way up to 24 in total. So it was hilarious seeing accounts with just 24 blue check marks. <coughs> So yeah, that's the glory of Twitter just dying out. Also, I would just like to mention, motherfucker. Of course, the moment I go to say something about it. We got one trade. Oh. 
Well, I'm. <laughs> so, so, oh yeah, that thing you just sent to uh, uh, help finish your Pokedex, you're not giving that back. Um. I apparently uh, am still in the lobby, at least. Are you? Uh, I should be. All right, then yes. we'll just reset up the link trade. Uh, for those of you on this podcast, uh, I didn't immediately me- like have the idea for this to be the entire episode of the podcast, but, um, you know, this is the equivalent of the episode of me handing in my homework as the teacher is grading it, kind of thing. (laughs) This is the equivalent of communication ended due to an error. You canceled the trade. I love being stuck in these trading loops. Alright, here, here's, here's how we're going to do this. <laughs> this is going to be the only way, it seems. Also, I might disconnect and reconnect. But uh, I will be right back. Alright. If that happens. Um, I don't know. Well, in the interest of keeping the podcast rolling, um, how it's looking for uh, streaming this week. Um, I'm planning at least to do a couple because I am currently less sick than I was last time I streamed. So, shiny hunting will be a thing that I will be doing soon. Uh, I'm actually currently working on completing my Pokedex, which is why I'm currently attempting to uh, trade with (coughs) Dylan. So that's what that schedule's looking a bit more like. Um, I may literally have to uh, look up news on my phone because I physically have like no news topics to talk about. So this um, is going to be a boring episode on the podcast okay. if we can't okay. figure out something. It's, uh, it's not exactly recent. I have no clue if you, you uh, did this in the last episode or not. But uh, Kia Soul USB, or not Kia Soul specifically, but the Kia Hyundai uh, USB situation. I have not that whole uh, fucking TikTok trend. I have not even brought that Wait, up in what? my podcast yet because I have not had that time yet, so... Mm-hmm. Apparently, we're in Zappapico now. Yes. Anyway. Um, very interesting. But yeah, I, sure. I'm pretty sure it just throws a dart at the map and chooses the closest town. And that's where the co-op mode of Scarlet Violet just places you. <coughs> anyway, the... USB stick thing you were saying? Yeah, uh, pretty stupid. I don't know how Kia fucked that up, but they did. Some kids died from it, from what I remember hearing, uh, because they were being stupid, decided to do the trick and take one out for a joyride, so... Yeah. yeah. Um, I know there's currently like there. I I think it's a class action lawsuit or something for uh the 
manufacturers of I can't remember which car it is right now, but the car that you can just use the same key on for like every single one of its cars ever made, kind of thing. Like that sounds within like super Ford years. F one fifty make between two thousand four and two thousand seven. Uh, not that it's different company that had a TikTok trend around it recently. It also reminds me of '90s GM vehicles, '90s Toyota vehicles, '90s. It was 90s much Fords. more recent. Also, by like ever made, <laughs> uh, my brain was being stupid. It was only a certain like few years because they didn't put a specific part in the car. Because that would that saved them a couple bucks or some crap like that. That sounds like a lot of different manufacturers, but for whatever reason, the ones coming to mind are uh, um, Kia and Hyundai. Yes, those two. That's the ones I was trying to Which talk about. The, uh, the USB stick thing, or the USB uh, hijacking thing, rather. Where you could literally just fucking plug in your phone with a USB, run a string of code, and yeah, you're going down the road. Oh, God. Uh, so I think we're in what? the, um, are we in the, are, did you communication error again? I did. Damn. <coughs> well, let's try this one more time and see if it'll communication error me out. I heard that one, so. <coughs> now I get to let it sit for a minute or two. Oh, now I got the communication error. There we go. Whoa, you you're turning robot mode um um anyway f Getting a little more back to podcast for the millionth time now. Um, just going to quickly touch upon the schedule for next uh, week for the podcast, that is. Uh, since I will now have an actual like week of being able to... Uh, <coughs> like, write a script for this of some sort or at least I should say speaker notes um it'll be a lot more planned than this one I'm probably going to cut this one straight off at the 20 minute mark but I'm going to aim for 30 next time it's just uh I've been very busy in between the last episode of this and the recording of this episode and seeing as the channel manager here uh, for SHG and who uh, host obviously is the YouTube channel that hosts my podcast, uh, he was saying, hey, yo, I need you to uh, record a podcast episode. So he's getting this random. Uh, rant of Twitter and being mad at Scarlet Violet for having um, bad connection. <coughs> yeah. 
Yeah, baby. Uh, that is the 20 minute mark. And I'll catch you guys in the next one of this podcast. See you later. Goodbye.